So here is one of the examples in which you apply the concept of inequality. So it says, find the range of values of x that makes the equation y equals 5x squared minus 16x plus 3. So a, always positive, and b, always negative. So let's start with the first problem, and that is we want to make or we want to find the range of values of x that will make it always positive. Okay, so that means, so for A, all we need to do is to solve when is 5x squared minus 16x plus 3 greater than 0. Because greater than 0 means always positive. So just apply solving or the ideas in solving inequalities. So we first factor the left side of the inequality since it is already zero on the other side. So you have to work on the numbers. Just make sure that you pick the right factors. So sometimes you need to do some trial and error. Now, so for 5x squared, I can have 5x and say x. Now for 3, I need to create a 16. So I have to place 3 here and then 1 on the 5x. Okay, so since I need a negative 16x and I need positive 3, so 1 and 3 should have the same signs and they have to be both negative. Okay, so if we check, so how do we check if the factors are correct? So this is negative x, and this is negative 15x. The sum of the two should be the one in the middle of the quadratic expression, so which is correct. So once you found the factors, you can identify now the numbers where it will be zero, and that is by simply getting each factor equated to zero. So this is, so minus three equal to zero. So the first to be, so we have x, when you solve this, this becomes one fifth, and then the other one is x equals three. So when we place these numbers, in the number line so we arrange them properly so 3 on the right and 1 fifth on the left so since we're looking for greater than 0 we have to consider the numbers before the first and the numbers after the second okay so that means the answer to this uh, inequality is that x should be less than negative one-fifth and x should be greater than three. So these numbers or these values of x will always make 5x squared minus 16x plus 3 always positive. Okay? Now once you solve letter A, it is now very easy to solve letter B. Because letter B is just a follow-up of letter A. So for letter B, since we're both working on 5x squared minus 16x plus 3, so this time, this will be less than 0. So that means we only, because the solution should be the same, so we'll, we'll still consider 1 fifth and we'll still consider 3. But in this, in this case, we have to consider the numbers between 1 fifth and 3. Okay, so it will always be negative. So always negative. Always negative when x is between 3 and 1 fifth. Okay. So that's how you solve a problem like this. So this is an application of quadratic inequalities 
and then it is applied to a quadratic uh, function or a parabola okay now for those who want to seek uh, like a visual interpretation of this it means when you graph the parabola so this is the x-axis so these points are one fifth and three so before one fifth the numbers are positive and between one fifth and three the numbers are negative meaning below the x-axis okay but you don't need to show this anymore if you just want to identify the range of values of x meaning what are these values of x that will make it always positive or always negative always remember that it's just asking for the first always positive means greater than zero and always negative means less than zero okay so these are the two answers that we obtain and this is for the b okay that's it